Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. This is your host Piggles, aka Dylan. Uh, today we are going to be taking on the Grass Type Gym, which we will be starting right now. Yep, that is indeed my name. I said it right at the beginning of the video. Brasius. That's an interesting name. First, need to pass a gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means Sunflora Hide and Seek. Okay. As you may know, artisan in the city of artists. That makes sense because it's in the name. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since the floor embodies concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the sunflora located through artisan all throughout the city. Okay, remember these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up ten of them and bring them to the sunflora lawn and you pass the test. I'll register the sunflora's lawn location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large sunflora statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staff are there will tell you more about the gym test. Now go out there and have fun. Wow, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun. Oh, okay. Let's get this over with so that we can do the gym. Just wait for the super long loading screens. There we go. Alright, so where is it? Doesn't really tell me where it is. I'm assuming that's it there, I guess, right? Oh, wait, here's one. That's not a real one. That's a statue. Uh, oh. That one's also a statue, I think? Yeah. Hmm. Wait, so what's what's this? It's a maze? A maze that I can look down on? What is that? Oh, it's just a kid. Oh. This is also a statue, I think. Why are there so many Sunflora statues here? I want a Rhino, huh? Shut up. No, you don't. Whoa. Why are there so many statues? Why have I not found any real ones yet? It's not even letting me click on this one. Uh, okay. Can I just get on the wall? Yeah, I can. Oh. What the heck? Why are they all... How have I not found any yet? Just look at... Oh, wait, is this a real one? No, what? Are there any actual real Pokemon here? Or are they just joking? Oh, wait. Uh... Oops. So there weren't any real Sunflora out yet. Right. Okay. Oops. My bad. Only wasted like two minutes on that. It's alright. <laughs> Not a big deal. All right, come on, let me go. All right. Oh, here's one. That was easy. Oh, they follow me around. That's nice. Hi, it's another one. All right. Oh, here's one. Yeah, so these... Oh, oh, I got them. Right? Um. Oh, it's making me battle it? Am I supposed to catch it, or...? Uh, I hope I wasn't supposed to catch it. Why is, like, the frame rate of the Sunflora so low? Is it supposed to look like that? Oh, okay, it does count. Oh, I got a Sunstone. Nice. That statue looked like it was moving. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's gotta be some in here. Oh, wait, there's one there, but I also want to get this real quick. Alright, I got five. Oh, TM. 
And another some floor over there. Poison Tail. Very good. I think uh Claude's Claude's tail. Claude Sire. I think it already knows it. Um that that is a statue. I wonder if there's one in here. Yes. Because I noticed that there were two pots in here when I came in, one of them was empty. Ugh. I uh, I also saw something that um I saw someone call their um I saw someone call their Claude Zire Slippy. And I honestly have been considering changing it to Slippy because I right now I it's called Quagmire, if everyone remembers. Um and I've been considering changing it to Slippy because for those who don't know, Slippy is the name of PewDiePie's old toad. And I'm a big fan of PewDiePie, so honestly I was thinking of uh Oh my god, he's some... Wait, let me take a picture. There we go. Um, I was honestly considering renaming... Uh, renaming my Claude Zire to Slippy. Just because I like that name so much, you know? Like, it's such a good name for for it, like, based on the Pokemon it is. But it's, like, it's not... It isn't a Toad, you know? So, wait, where am I... Where am I taking these? I kind of forgot. Um, they, the big statues, right? Where are the statues? Oh, is it over there? I don't know how... Oh, here. I kind of already lost it. It's alright. And... Hello. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. The frame rate on these Sunflora. Why is one going off on its own? Oh, because they're just kind of... Okay. Cool. Now I can do the actual gym. Cool. You know, if I'm being honest, I kind of preferred the days when you would just battle a couple trainers in order to to the uh, in order to face the gym leader. I kind of miss those days. Like the gym challenges themselves are like sometimes entertaining but it's like most of the time it's like i would just rather fight like three or four trainers and then battle the you know the gym leader i don't know i don't know if that's just me i am oh i didn't actually read what his name was verdon verizio i don't know something like that um but yeah i don't know like i know the like most of the game i when I think they kind of started to have like a gym challenge in like Gen 7, even though they weren't really gyms per se, but it's like you would do like some sort of challenge. And then that also happened in Gen 8 where you needed to do like some sort of challenge. I don't know. I just kind of wish. I, you know, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh. I mean. Oh, alright. He. Yeah. Oh, he has a knife. That's not a very Pokemon friendly thing. You did well to come this far. I am Brasius an artist specializing in grass type pokemon i'm also the grass gym leader gym i'm also the gym leader here at the artisan gym i was observing your your gym test from atop the windmill you know oh that's a little creepy the perception you displayed in finding some flora was truly oh how shall i describe it easy <laughs> yes it was truly avant-garde okay i truly pray that you might uh, demonstrate that uh eye for beauty in our battle as well Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Uh, so I'm going to be honest. I don't know if his Pokemon are going to be, like, super underleveled compared to mine. Because, like, I think I was supposed to face this guy, like, much earlier. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm afraid that his Pokemon are going to be super weak. Like, I definitely didn't need to evolve my... Car cartilage car shark i don't know shark 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 attack yeah okay so <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty easy gym that's okay that gives us more time in the video to do other stuff small of oh no i'm gonna have to demolish this thing <laughs> Goodbye, Olive. Yeah. Bye, fella. 
All right, who else? <laughs> Pseudo Oh, and then he's gonna. You know, I actually I saw this in the trailer. I thought that was really cool because everyone. I'm pretty sure everyone and their mother as a kid thought that Sudowoodo was a grass type at some point in their lives. And so I find it pretty cool that, like, he... Oh, that's a weird texture. Is he... Because he's a... You know what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna question it. So I'm gonna terrestrialize him just because I want to see it. Because I know he's gonna terrestrialize that one, obviously. Yeah, so I just want to see him terrestrialize. You know, it would have been cool if uh, they had different forms of terrestrializing, like... If you could have, like, a multiple form Terra type, like, for, like, sp only specific, po like, how some specific Pokemon have personal, uh, like, Z-moves, uh, or, like, Mega Evolutions, you know, Gigantamax, like, I thought, I wish that they had, like, a little bit more personalization in that aspect, but, like, ter you know, ter terrestrializing is still pretty cool in itself. Alright, so yeah, this thing is about to get demolished. Goodbye. Oh, it has sturdy. That's right. I hope it doesn't take me out. Sometimes art becomes a race against the clock. Let us. When. When does that happen? I don't know. Trailblaze. Ouch. Speed Rose. Do they heal their Pokemon? No. You know, that's another thing I like. I don't like that... Or I do... Sorry, that's another thing I do like. That uh, the gym leaders don't just, like, constantly, you know, uh, full restore their Pokemon every time they're low. So it's like you have to actually take them out, like, three times before you actually take them out. So it, that that I do like. Dude, Seraledge is such an awesome looking Pokemon. Avant Guard! Man, he's got an itchy head. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Maybe I'll have time to take on like another gym. Maybe I'll go take on the Psychic Gym, because I'm pretty sure Ghost is super effective against Psychic, right? Also, sorry I'm not reading any of this, I just don't care. <laughs> yes. I also like, um, I like these gym badges because I like when they're, like, simple looking. Like, the Sinnoh badge is really simple. Um, the, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like some gym badges look, ooh. The user attacks suddenly as if leaping out of a tall, out of, oh, okay. Let me see if I can actually, ooh, let's see if I could teach that to, um, Clodsire because Clodsire's Terra type is actually grass, and so if I if I'm ever in need of you know a strong grass move for whatever reason, then I can use uh I can use him. Oh, it's this person. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn up the volume of the game a little bit just because it seems a little quiet. Oh, well that isn't good. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? Yes, of course I do. Oh, that's also not good. <laughs> uh, just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim. You know what? I'm wondering if this person is Cassiopeia. Like, maybe they're not... Yeah, maybe they're not actually Cassiopeia, but, like, it's interesting if she is, like, secretly her. I'm Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, uh, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. So is she, like, the champion, or is she just... Is she, like, Chairman Rose? Like, that kind of thing. Alright, cool. Um, I want to see if I can teach this move to... Clodsire. So assuming I don't get stopped or anything on my way out... Nope, okay. Let me check. I wouldn't be surprised if I can't, but, like, I figure I might as well try. <gasps> he can learn it. Oh, it's only 50 power. Uh, whatever. Here you go. Get her slam. I know I'm never, ever, ever going to use slam just because it's such a crappy move anyways. Cool. Oh, wait. Oh, no, you don't know poison tail. You know, you know, you know, you know, poison jab, which is a better version of that move anyways. All right. 
Sorry, that's not the right one. So what we're gonna do now, I think the psychic gym is like down here. It's like along the edges somewhere. Here. So why don't we go here? Apply here. Yep. And then we will take on this gym. And then that way we can get through two gyms in one video. Because I've kind of been slacking when it comes to, uh, you know, when it comes to, um, what's it called? Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. I've been slacking when it comes to the gym, gym battles and stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to take care of that. And I'm charged up your Terra Orb too, thank you. Um, and now, yeah, let's see what, let's see what new teams we can make. I think there aren't that many new ones. Low kick, I think, might be new. Uh, it's trailbl oh yeah, that's new, obviously. Fire spin, charge beam, poison tail, hex, bulldoze. I might get bulldoze if I can. Ooh, wait, I don't know what I need to make it though, it doesn't tell me. Aerial ace, snarl, metal claw, swift, mud shot, icy wind. Magical Leaf, Rock Tomb, Draining Kiss, Low Sweep, Nightshade, Stored Power, Air Cutter, Venice Shock, Endure, Rain Dance, Sleep Talk, Foul Play, Bullet Seed, Electro Ball, Reflect, Light Screen, Rest, Thunder Wave, Metronome, Spikes, Toxic. So oh, wait, what's that thing? That thing on there is new. Maybe that might be the evolution of that one spider. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Wait, how did I just do that? Oh, this is useful. Yo, I didn't know you could do this. Look at all these moves. Solar beam, grassy terrain, ice fang, icy wind, low kick, low speed, reversal, focus, blast, acid spray, poison tail, toxic spikes, and mud stuff, all those spikes. Okay. No dragon yet. Crunch. Uh... Alright, cool. Yeah, so I'm not really gonna make any of that now because I don't really need any of it. Um, so yeah, we're here, right? We're at the. Yeah, oh wait. Hang on. I can't. What do you mean you can't ride my ride on it? No, it's just because I was intersecting with the wall. Ugh. Skill swap. Okay, I don't want that. Alright, where is the gym? Where is this psychic woman? There it is. I just jumped over this dude. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, those are just the yellow forms of that bird. Ooh. Item. Ah, no. Sorry. Ultra Ball. Nice. Okay. Um, Serral Edge. Yep, out front. Sarah Ledge will probably carry me through this gym, too, because if I'm not wrong... Oh, wait, what's... I am not gonna... I... Um, oh. Oh, I remember this guy. Hold on, Dylan, you appear... Oh, is that a boy or a girl? I think it is a boy. I can't remember who this guy is, if I'm being honest, and I, I don't know who this guy is, obviously. Hey, Ko, I heard you're, like, way too good at battling. Yeah. Yeah, I sure am. Ha ha ha, you've got some spirit, big shot. Oh, young lady. Okay, it is a girl. This young lady would be Rika. That's me, Rika, here at your service. And hey, I know I'm pr I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. Oh, don't worry. Uh, she is a little farce farcical. Fartsical, <laughs> shall we say. But like, oh, oh, that's what it is. Okay, so they're both Elite Four members. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. Tell me something, kiddo. You look fun, like interesting, at a glance, anyway. Thank you. Naturally, he's one of our academy's esteemed students. Yes, I am. Ooh, haha, ha, yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms uh, really ratchet up the further you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? Of course not. See, uh, see you when you hit the champion assessment. Uh, you show these gyms what you've got. I sure will. Best of fortunes to you, thank you. All right, you know what I might do? I might do, just so uh, I could make like two videos out of it, I might do the gym challenge in this one. 
and then in the next video, I think I'll do the actual gym battle. Gym leader Tulip. You'll first need to pass a gym test. Yeah. That means... Oh. Exercise. <laughs> I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice created by Tulip herself, of course. Complete it and you pass the test. The woman wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Just turn left after leaving the gym and you'll find the practice area right next door. Now get out there and have fun. Okay. So get out there and turn left. So... I go up and left. Oh, in here? Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, I know you. Oh, Sue, welcome, new. I'm not a new kid. You know me. Why is your battle study seat you're here to uh, gym? Oh, wait, no. She's saying she knows I am a new kid. Okay, I get it. Uh, why is your gym? Pokemon the gym leader here, uh, two since we were kids. Okay, we decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special world. The loser has to do what the winner says, so we battled, and well, she lost. Look, never mind what happened. Point is, this is a chance, uh, to, uh, this is a chance to both get a workout in and help my friend when I don't have classes. Okay. The rules of emotional spectrum practice, or ESV for short, are simple. We'll show you a certain movement, and all you have to do is copy it. Okay. Ready to get this gym test started? I hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge. Of course I am. Great, let's get to exercising. Show me an eruptive emotions. Okay. All right, so how is this going to work? Okay. Is it ever going to start? There we go. I feel like I'm on like a reality show or something. Okay, what do I do? Oh. Uh, no. Oh, I pressed... I accidentally pressed the other thing instead. Uh, that one. Uh, yes, I'm so excited. Sarah doesn't look too excited, but whatever. Surprise! Uh... Excited! Sarah doesn't seem to have emotions. Angry, arg. Why does it always say okay? Like, am I not doing well or something? Is it just like, okay, you did it? Uh, I'm so angry. Oh, well, that wasn't that hard. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Pokemon battle. Oh. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, Emily, let's see what you got. Gotharita. More like... Um, you're gonna get destroyed. I feel like that guy should back up a little bit. Oh yeah, I have Night Slash and Shadow Claw. Oh. And it was a crit. Goodbye. Oh, very good. Weather Ball. What does Weather Ball do again? Oh. Nah. Ooh, a cover. Yeah, I suppose you could do that. How about Rock Throw Salt Cure and Smackdown? Uh. I guess I'll get rid of it. And okay. Curlia. You are also fairy type. Is I think ghost is would still be super effective against a Curlia, right? Flash fire. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's still super effective. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest, I've never actually been a huge fan of ghost types in my days. Like I've used a Gengar like once. Um, I used Decidueye, he's my favorite alone starter, but other than that, like, like Ghost, Dark, Poison, Steel, like, I've never really used those types. I've always used, like, Fire and Grass, Water, 
electric, you know, like I've always, oh, it's raining. Um, I've always kind of used like those kind of like base types. Oh, I have to do this again? Oh my gosh. This music is kind of bumping though. I think Sarah Lodge is trying to show him. But he just kind of seems like to not really care. I'm going to be honest, Sarah Lodge is probably one of the coolest looking Pokemon of this generation so far. Like, just looking at it just makes me happy. Like, it looks like a freaking awesome Power Ranger. But, like, also, like, a cool knight. Have they ever done a Power Rangers, like, knight show? They've done Samurai. That was my favorite. Let's check out who was teaching who. Oh my gosh. Now I gotta fight the old guy. Yeah, he doesn't look that old. Nah, he does look old. <laughs> and his name is Raphael. Grumpy. <sighs> oh, goodbye, Grumpig. Oh, you have speed. Oh, and you have power jump. Ouch. Okay. What level is this thing? Oh my god, that didn't even... Oh, Shadow Sneak would be so perfect for right now. Oh, criminy Christmas. Dang it. Okay, well, goodbye, Sarah Ledge. That kind of stinks. Yeah, Shadow Sneak would have been perfect for right there, but... I am a stupid head and got rid of it. Alright. You're in, lady. Mark, mark, mark. Give him the old one, two, late. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I think Dosh Bun and. Ooh, indeed. Dosh Bun and Seraledge are probably my two favorite Pokemon. Oh, and then Clods, Clodsire, too. Honestly, I love all the Pokemon on my team. They're all so cool. Ooh, that did like nothing. Okay, well, it didn't do nothing. And I will, I will be able to take it out the next turn because I got that defense drop, so... It's all good, it's all fine, it's all good and Gucci. And goodbye, indeed. So I think I'll be a little underleveled for this gym, but it shouldn't be that bad. Especially because Cyril Edge is like such a powerhouse. Double Edge? Nah, I don't really want Double Edge. I think I have good enough moves now. Metacham. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, come on. Alright, if these die, I do have a controller standing by that I can use. Uh, play rough. <clears throat> yeah, I, I am very slightly underleveled for this, I think. Power trip? Does that just swap its special attack and physical attack? Yeah. Oh, attack and defense. Okay, well, considering it probably has lower defensive attack, that was a stupid thing to do. There we go. Is Metacham a physical attacker? I think Metacham is a physical attacker. Oh, did it just give me $6,000 twice? That might have been a glitch. That's fine. Alright, please. Okay, I passed the test. I was gonna say, please don't make me. Please don't make me dance again. <laughs> Not dance, you know what I mean. That sound it made when the stamp went down was very a very satisfying sound. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is because we're lazy bums, we're gonna teleport over to the um, over to the Pokemon Center and heal up, and then we're gonna end this video here. And I think I'm also going to get rid of Night Slash on Ledge and replace it with Shadow Sneak, just because like, you know, I don't 
feel like I need it. Like, I feel like having a priority move is better than having... Because it's like... Let's say, worst case scenario, I'm facing a Pokemon that uh, isn't... Uh, that it's, like, is stronger against a Ghost and Fire. I'll just swap my Pokemon. You know, like, I'll just swap them out. Like, it's not that big of a deal, you know? So, here's what we're gonna do. Is we're going to get Shadow Sneak. And we're going to replace Night Slash here. Let's see what he thinks. What do you think, buddy? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of Swords Dance. Oh, wait. That is not what I meant to do. We are going to relearn Swords Dance and replace Night Slash. Last time I take advice from a Pokemon, I'll tell you what. Um, Alright, yeah, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, in the next one, we're going to face the Psychic Leader. And, uh, yeah, we're, uh, that's what we're going to do. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.